What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up. Chef, look at flight chef reacts. Hey man, all right, so I know y'all see the title and we gonna dive straight on to it. Now if you mess with these types of uh, cooking tutorials, my first ever one, you know what I'm saying? Let me know and we'll do shout more in the future. All right, so as you see from the title, man, we got Southern Fried Chicken now. If you don't know what you're doing with this recipe, just step out the kitchen. And this is exactly why, if you don't know what you're doing, you clicked on this video, bro. Because you won't ever have to have that moment, bro. But you can't just be doing any and everything when it comes to making fried chicken, bro. Because you can go zero to 100 cancel real quick, bro, if you do not know what you're doing. All right, so you know what, man? Duck React, Chef React is whipping up a little sum sum tonight, man, on this beautiful Saturday, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's cooking time in this thing, man. So I'm gonna show y'all the quick ingredients that y'all need to make this so fresh, so clean, clean Southern fried chicken. And as I go through the video, you're gonna see me have uh, actually hands on, you know what I'm saying? Focus onto it and I will, you know, gradually tell y'all like, you know what I'm saying? The exact size and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Water, you know what I'm saying? At least half a bottle, half a cup, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you wanna call your chicken, of course. You know what I'm saying? Get some glacier bags because we're actually gonna need to do for this chicken before we start anything, we don't need to put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to two hours or you can do it overnight if you're not pressed for time. You know what I'm saying? You don't need your pickle juice. You know what I'm saying? You need at least a uh, half a cup of uh, pickle juice. Um, Buttermilk, and here's your seasoning, so fresh or clean, clean seasoned paprika, you know what I'm saying, this is what gets the job done, you know what I'm saying, you know, black pepper, you know what I'm saying, the salt, you know what I'm saying, the onion. So right now, I'm actually going to take my chicken and uh, wash it off and then pat it down with the paper towel and everything like that, and then put everything in the bag, I'm going to put it up close to my hand so you guys see what I'm doing in just a second. Alright y'all, now, so like, it seems like it's just like, you wash it off and then it's that's and that. But I didn't want to leave out, you know, all the juicy details, man. What's the point of a tutorial and everything like that? So, like, this is the thing that I'd see growing up, you know what I'm saying? Whether watching, like, my grandma or my dad cooking fried chicken and everything like that, man. So, like, if you see, like, this, like, really pale looking part of the meat this is like called the fat you know what i'm saying why don't y'all add some more years on to your life you know what i'm saying rip that thing off you know what i'm saying now you can actually keep this on and everything like that there's nothing wrong with that it's not it's actually uh like really really good but it's also really really unhealthy and everything it's not gonna take away no type of flavor but ripping off that fat man you just going you know what i'm saying knock off a couple of health problems in a couple of years you feel me or you know what i'm saying you also add on a couple more years onto your life man so i'm gonna show y'all exactly how to do that uh well I'm, I'm in the throne this is all trash by the way the fat we're not using this cooking i'm gonna throw it out and, you know what i'm saying so you know it's what it's easier actually to rip the fat off and get into it once you start washing chicken out you can have your, your water on medium hot you know what i'm saying something like that you know now you don't want to just go all like that you know what i'm saying ripping the meat out and everything like that pause you feel me you just get up under there you know what i'm saying rip it right out you know what i'm saying this is all fat you know what i'm saying like i said you can keep it on it's optional for you but if you choose to, you know what I'm saying, uh, stay out the doctor's office and, you know what I'm saying, have um, more years added on to your life, you feel me? This is just a little routine you can do, you know what I'm saying, to, you know what I'm saying, help you guys with that. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm doing this, bro, you know what I'm saying, getting up under there, washing it out, make sure that I have, you know what I'm saying, the factory stuff, pesticides, you know, not, not pesticide, but, um, you know what I'm saying, like insects and all that stuff. So that is actually my last chicken that I had just did. All right, y'all, now for the final touch before I put it in the uh, uh, Ziploc bag and everything so it can be a little bit, uh, uh, refrigerated and everything to give it that you know moist flavor with everything you're gonna pat it down you know what I'm saying with this uh this paper towel and everything you know what I'm saying just to you know get just take every you know little bits of water out you know what I'm saying you just pat it down you're not gonna fully dry it obviously it's gonna be in some water but you know what I'm saying you want to do that to the chicken you know what I'm saying pat it down all right and now the final part so these ingredients all you're gonna need is your water your buttermilk and your pickle juice. Now the pickle juice, you want a half cup at least. I took two of these, about uh, one and a half, two of these. So this is about a half cup of pickle juice. All right, so I'm gonna actually double bag this so fresh and so clean, clean, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, chicken that we about to put in the refrigerator for uh, 30 minutes or you can put it up to two hours or you can do it overnight if you're not, you know, pressed for time. Me, I wanna say I'm pressed for time, but I don't have an overnight type of time if it makes sense, all right? So I went ahead and double bag everything like that. Now, 
Uh, this is a disposable foil can that came on top of the foil cover and everything like that. Um, I have no problem replacing it and everything like that. So every, if you have your own preference of dish that you use that's comfortable, you can use it, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you know, copy the exact dish that I have and everything. This is just what I had, you know, given the time, all right? So we got a half thing of, you know what I'm saying, our So Fresh, So Clean, Clean pickle juice right here. You're gonna go ahead and dump that in the bag right there. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, this is going in the same exact glacier bag, so if you mix the water with the pickle juice first or the pickle juice with the water, it does not matter. You want a half a cup of that so fresh, so clean, clean water. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go the smart way, you know what I'm saying? Or you can go the Fiji way, you know what I'm saying? Make it healthy, 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 you know what I'm saying? And with the buttermilk, make sure you shake it up. Make sure you shake it up, all right? Now, this is the first time I'm actually using this type of buttermilk, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I was looking, I was looking for the knob and everything like that. All right, so with the buttermilk, you don't need a measuring cup necessarily. You just wanna kinda get like half the bag or like, you know what I'm saying, a good amount. You know what I'm saying, where it's like, it's, it's on top of the chicken, like the chicken's drowning inside of the buttermilk pretty much. You don't wanna put like a little itty bit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my buttermilk right up in that thing. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta get like halfway, like I said. Um, you know what I'm saying? You probably don't have to get the bag and you know what I'm saying? You know, that's perfect right there. I actually poured a perfect amount. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, when it's double bagged, it's not gonna look like, you know what I'm saying, what the uh, the full is. Make sure y'all double bag it, man, because I don't be trusting these bags at certain times and everything like that. And now, after you massage that chicken in there, you know what I'm saying, go ahead with the bag that's underneath everything. Um, I want you to go ahead and zip it up a little bit halfway, but leave some air in it, because you don't, like I said, want to suffocate the chicken. It's already, you know what I'm saying, passed away. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta keep on beating it up, doing strangling it. It didn't do nothing to you, bro. Relax, all right? So just leave a little bit of a hole so it can breathe. You know what I'm saying? And then zip up the actual thing the entire way, especially if you're overnighting this and everything like that, man. Make sure the top is zipped up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't get spoiled. And the bag should look like this puffy. If I go like this, it'll explode. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. So I'm gonna leave this in the refrigerator uh, for a solid uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. Be right back. One hour later. Now you put about uh, a tablespoon of onion powder, tablespoon of paprika, and I wanna say like, honestly almost, I wanna say equivalent to the flour, but like half and half, because you wanna be able to taste it, you know what I'm saying? Don't smother, but at the same time, don't be afraid to go in with the seasoning right here. You know what I'm saying? Then the seasonings that you wanna put last is the salt, after, you're gonna see me whisk it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying, we wash it off, just get that good wash off one more time, and everything like that. Um, you're gonna actually put your salt and pepper uh, last, you know what I'm saying, so I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, whisk it up, you know what I'm saying, get, make sure your flour is tasting. Usually you put stuff like this in the bowl and everything, it's okay if you don't have a bowl and doing a little ghetto way, you know what I'm saying. Um, but we got over here, you know what I'm saying, uh, the season mixed up. If your season is consistency looking like this, you see that right there? You see how it's like kind of brownish? That's what you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Now, for the little final touch, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get, you know, just a nibble of salt, you know what I'm saying? Just around that thing. You don't got to go too crazy. It's already filled with salt from the other seasonings, you know what I'm saying? Then you want to take your black pepper, you know what I'm saying? Now dab it on there, you know what I'm saying? If you accidentally leave like a spot like I just left right there, it's all good, just whisk it in. Spread it around, you know what I'm saying? Make use of that, you know? What you do want to see also is that black pepper throughout that seasoning, you know what I'm saying? Consistent, you know? Give it a little dab of that black pepper right there. I think we should be good. Just give it one more dab of that salt. we good. You know what I'm saying? Now, actually, it's not you're using all of this, so it's just like at the same time for each time you dip the the chicken in everything, you want to make sure you know you taste it. You know that's just the important part. All right, so we got that done. I'm about to go ahead and get my chicken out the refrigerator. I left the chicken in there actually. Let's just point about an hour and just like five, seven, ten minutes. All right, y'all. As promised, chicken out the refrigerator and nice and buttermilked up. Pickle juiced up and everything, you know what I'm saying? So now, we gonna take the chicken from here, put it, you know what I'm saying, how much you ever you can fit, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm gonna actually use one hand to do this. I'm gonna use this hand to get the chicken from here, and then this hand, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, marinate it, season it, everything, and then put it over here, and then we gonna transfer it to the vegetable oil, and then start whipping it up, all right? 
So, take the chicken, you know what I'm saying, from the buttermilk, don't be shy with it, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna use this hand, my left hand, you know what I'm saying, to massage everything in there, you know what I'm saying, make sure it's nice and, you know, sturdy, secure so nothing falls over, you know what I'm saying. All right, oh, don't wanna do that, you don't wanna splash chicken powder or uh, vegetable stuff and there. You also wanna let the milk and the chicken and stuff, you know what I'm saying, drip down for a second, you know what I'm saying, you know. You make a mess a little bit, it's okay, you know, it happens. Now I'm only able to fit four. You wanna fit as much as you can on there, but also leave some space, you know, for the other chickens, you know what I'm saying, to prosper, you know what I'm saying? Getting it in there, you know what I'm saying? You wanna flip it up in there, you know what I'm saying? Massage that thing with all the flour you can do. Now if you even have it to where you can cover something up and then shake it around, that's even better. All right, so you're gonna go ahead, like I said, keep flipping it around. Get that so fresh, so clean, clean flour on there. You know what I'm saying? And then when you see my hand like this, squeeze it. Squeeze that good old seasoning in that chicken. Squeeze all the juices, the nourishments, the supplements, the healthiness of the friedness and everything. You know what I'm saying? Just squeeze it up in there in that chicken. You know what I'm saying? Just squeeze it up in that thing, you know? And if you get a little bit on your hand, that's all good, you know? But make sure you squeeze it up in here. If you gotta add more, you know what I'm saying, flour mixture or whatever, it's okay, you know what I'm saying? That happens, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not gonna bore you guys doing it. You guys get, I'm gonna speed this part up and get it on. All right, y'all, we are gonna now take our chicken. We wanna let it sit there and marinate in the, uh, the seasoning for about a cool solid 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Let it settle in there that chicken and everything like that. You gonna take your chicken, you know what I'm saying? Get your tongs, you know what I'm saying? The vegetable oil is cooked the way you can tell the vegetable oil is ready to be fried is when it starts simmering up top a little bit. You can hear it sparkle and glistle. All right, y'all, so the amount of vegetable oil that you put in, you wanna cover about like half the pan. You know what I'm saying? Not too much where it's gonna start dripping out the side depending on how big your pan is. And the vegetable oil, you're gonna have it heat up to 350 if you're gonna use a temperature. But like I said in this video, you can still tell the way vegetable oil is ready to be, you know what I'm saying? Cook and do your thing when it's simmering at the top. You can just hear it, you feel me? Or you can take a thermometer, be old school way. We about to take these tons right this second, everybody. And put the chicken, we give it a good wash off, you know what I'm saying, rinse off too because it is already washed. But I like to rinse it off with that water, you know what I'm saying, one more time. Now we're gonna go ahead and put as many chickens as we're able to fit, all right? So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and start uh, with this chicken. Now make sure you just lightly put it in there. Don't drop it in there because that thing is hot. Nothing worse than some grease pan stuff sparkling hitting you in the chest. You know what I'm saying? Try to have a shirt on when you're doing this type of stuff. You know, don't be afraid to also turn down the stove, y'all. It's already hot when you're putting it on. Put it to around like, I put it to like four or five area. So it's gonna be popping a lot. Fit as many chickens as you can, but make sure you have space for them to breathe. I'm gonna probably be able to fit four on here. All right, so we gonna go ahead and put four chickens up on this thing just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and also, you know, take a little bit of that breading, take a little bit of that mix, put it on top. Don't be afraid of, you know what I'm saying, take some more season stuff, put it on top, give it that little final little, you know, taste to it. You know, the style with the drip with the sauce, you know what I'm saying? Put it right up on there, y'all. All right, y'all, so you're gonna wanna cook the chicken for about 15 to 20 minutes. This is a 15 to 20 minute process. This is not like cooking eggs, bacon, grilled cheese, none of that. This is poultry. You wanna make sure you reach the temperature of 165 degrees. You're gonna honestly wanna flip it one to two times, but cook it to about 15 to 20 minutes. After about seven minutes, I like to kind of flip it over. You know what I'm saying? And then you can flip it back over at that last three minute mark. Only flip the chicken over about one time, y'all. Yo. You know what I'm saying? You see that crispy brown look that it has. When once you feel it starting to get crispy, that means it's working its way and it's almost done. Now, like I said, you only want to flip the chicken one time because you're gonna end up messing with that crust. You don't want to mess with the crust too much where it's falling over. It's looking, you know, um, loose. You want it all to be kept together. You know what I'm saying? Gent be gentle with it, take your time, it's not a race, flip it over, you know what I'm saying, you can raise the heat back up, I put it back to around 6 now, you know, so I got it into a subtle, nice little, cool temperature, 
And now I'm putting it back up to high so it can continue to sizzle and get that, you know what I'm saying, that flavor. Now we're gonna go ahead this for about another five, I say the seven minutes, and we're gonna get our thermometer in just a second. We're gonna keep all of our uh, chickens that we put in there. We have two separate tongs, by the way. Hey, make sure you guys have separate utensils, tongs, whatever you're using to grab your chicken, your anything you're cooking. You know, that's raw meat. Pause, you feel me? Like, separate utensils and tongs, etc. okay? Because you do not want to get food illnesses, poison, you know what I'm saying, and things like that. I have two separate tongs. I had this one tongue right here that I just placed down that I was using, and I only used to put the, the, the raw meat into the pan. And then I have a clean tongue that I haven't touched and haven't used to put when the chicken is done onto the cutting board. So keep that in mind for any utensils that you use. You have to be very, very cautious with this. Um, one tongue, that a clean tongue to take our chicken out um, and put it on the clean cover board. That's a, the finished product of the chicken and everything. Um, we're going to take our thermometer in just a second. I'm going to show you. All right, y'all, looking at the chicken, I think it's looking just about ready. The crust is nice and flaky. Some parts is hard. I'll give it that one universal flip one more time. You see right there, that golden crispy crust? That's exactly what you want to look for, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See how that crust stays on when I'm trying to grip it? That's exactly what you want to look for. You know what I'm saying? Take your time while you're doing this. There's no rush. I'm going to put these two chickens through. You can't fumble the chicken. One thing you want to do in life, you don't ever want to fumble the chicken. You know what I'm saying? Ow, ow, ow. You know what I'm saying? Be careful. Make sure you get that drip of the tongue. Don't be like Duck React. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let it drip a little bit. Put on my clean cutting board. Take this last delicious looking piece. Put on clean cutting board. And as you guys see, the final temperature of the chicken on the thermometer should read 165. It is literally right smack dead at that 165, maybe 164 mark. But you know what I'm saying? Just mind you too, when you take it off that um, the uh, the fryer or skillet, whatever you want to call it, the chicken's gonna be still cooking for another minute, two minutes, and everything. So you know what I'm saying? Also keep that in mind, and also. Uh, with that, uh, it just got exactly to that 165 mark. All right, y'all. Taste test reaction to build a man. We're going to take a piece of this juicy, so fresh, so clean, clean fried chicken. I got it on my cutting board right now. You can't eat fried chicken without honey. If you don't have honey while you're eating fried chicken, or at least ranch or some type of sauce, just stay far away from me, bro. You're the ones, y'all, we didn't really be watching out for. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I want to take a piece of it because I do want to say something. Who knows? Someone might... Finish the last of it to its bit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a little pressed, like I said, gotta go somewhere with that honey dip. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh fuck. Damn, I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this video, man. This shit right here is crap, bro. This shit right here is crap. Hold on. One more good bite, bro. And that shit is hot. Exactly how you want it. Like I said. That spicy, not spicy, but that seasoning, that trio kick, you taste all of that into the chicken, the black peppers, the salt. Oh my gosh, man. Hey, the price just went up. The price literally just went up, man. A hundred percent husband material over here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, fam. I'm gonna open up a restaurant, man!